Today you're going to learn how to draw a self-portrait. But you need to decide which kind of self-portrait you want to draw. Do you want to draw a bust, which is a head, neck, and shoulders? Or do you want to draw the full body and have an environment be around you with details explaining who you are? Totally up to you. I'm going to show you the bust first. You need to start with an oval head. Make sure you have room for the neck and shoulders. Now the eyes go smack in the middle of this oval. Make sure this space is about the same size as the top. Put your oval eyes. It doesn't really matter if one winds up being smaller than the other. Everybody has different size eyes and ears. Now when you're drawing the eye, it's just a circle, a smaller circle for the pupil, and I drew a little rectangular square inside the pupil. Get you a little closer here. That's the reflection to make it look like you have some life in you. And color in the pupil. The pupil is the hole in your eye that lets your brain see. Now noses. You can choose whatever kind of nose you want. I will also include a bunch of different noses, eyes, and mouths in the rest of this Nearpod. I just did a basic nose. Mouth. You can decide what kind you want to do. You could do a more cartoony one or more realistic. It's up to you. Or an open mouth, like a surprised mouth. I'll do the lips because they're the hardest one. So draw a simple little, little smile. Even that just looks nice. From this corner, up, bump, bump, down. Now for the lower lip, a little bit down and up. Okay. Now we need to look at the eyebrows. Do we want to have a mad face? These are regular eyebrows, they're close to the eyes. They bend like this to be sad, or lift them up to be surprised. My mouth seems to be pretty plain, so I guess I'll just make my eyebrows normal. Although they almost look sad to me. Now the ears go right in line with the eye. And I'm going to make it right about that size, right to the end of the nose. The eye. Now the hair. The hair is the tricky part. I'm going to start with a girl, and the girls usually have a part in their hair, either on this side, this side, or even in the middle. I'll try the middle this time. And hey, people always have hair on their forehead, even if they're a boy. So you got to look in the mirror and see what your hair looks like. How is it falling? Is it going over your eyebrow and eye? Is it going to be tucked behind your ear? Is it hanging in front of your face? If it's covering something, then you've got to erase it. This one I'm going to tuck behind the ear. Now, we everybody has hair above their head. So make sure you get starting at the ear. We're going to come up. And your hair could be bumpy, straight, spiky, whatever you want to do, down to the other ear. Now you need to go back and erase the headline. Get the neck and shoulders in here so you could see where this hair is going. Now, hair can stick out behind the ear, just like that. Same thing with a boy, actually. The boy hair can come under the ear, so check out in the mirror if, when you're a boy to see if you have hair sticking out just underneath. You can have hair going on over your shoulder like this, or it can go behind. It's up to you. But this is how you would draw hair. Now. Don't forget to add the neckline for the shirt. And I'm going to show you next how to put hair on a boy. There's my boy. Notice one eye is way bigger 
doesn't really matter. Don't get too technical on yourself. So again, boy hair usually has hair on the forehead, so look in the mirror. It could look spiky like this. And uh, sometimes the boy hair ends right at the ear, right there. Um, other boys have hair that comes down in front of their ear, so look in the mirror. Again, you need to put hair above the head. So from the ear, what kind of hair do you have? Is it spiky on top? Or is it just smooth and flat? Or do you have curly, bumpy hair? Look in the mirror. Erase the headline. And there's your boy. You can, of course, add eyelashes if you want. Um, any other details you have on you. If you have earrings, a necklace, whatever you want to put on you. You could even try to experiment with a hat. Now the arms. You might want to like this little triangle for the arms and the body. Now for a shirt. It just comes out like this for the sleeve if you have short sleeves. Erase that. Same thing on this side. Just bring it out for a sleeve. And there is your short sleeve shirt. Now adding details to the shirt is what's also going to help show your personality. Color, design, detail, picture. I hope you have fun drawing self-portraits. I will try to include a bunch of examples in this Nearpod. Have fun and don't get too technical on yourself.